welcome back to another video. So I have a really exciting one today that I I kind of thought about the other day and I just really wanted to do it. To be honest, when I saw the video, I think I've watched this video before, but as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be following a um, Indian bridal uh, makeup tutorial. Um, I wanted to do that something that was um, Asian or like Indian bridal inspired. So yeah, I just thought I should do a I followed a Indian bridal tutorial, but then um, this morning I was just checking out the products and seeing. I, by the way, if you don't like it when I don't have the exact products, then I suggest clicking out now because all the products are different, but I'm going to improvise. Um, but yeah, reading the comments this morning on this video, it is quite controversial because... Is, is that the word? I'm going to say, yeah, that's the word because it's an Indian, they've called the video The Indian Bride, how to, and for The Indian Bride, you've literally put like a super fair model. Some people said that she's not Indian. I don't think, I, I think she has some Indian in her and if not, that's, it doesn't matter. But I feel like if you're going to do The Indian Bride, I think it makes sense to use an actual Indian bride or someone of an Indian ethnicity the Indian bride but okay let's say you don't want to use anyone that's from an Indian ethnicity you can use someone that's at least kind of similar to um, someone a bit darker because she is very fair a lot of people felt that they couldn't relate in the comments which I understand because I mean you can't it just doesn't make sense that the Indian bride tutorial and you have someone super fair like the, even the makeup artist is an Indian guy and he's just 10 times darker than her so um, I just think people couldn't relate I think when you're doing videos like this you are targeting most of the kind of Indian Asian community and by using a bride like that it's just like most of them can't really relate and um, see how it would look like to someone who looks a bit like them or who has a similar skin tone to them so that's what I realised this morning, this morning and I just wanted to do it even more because I want to see how it looks on my complexion. I'm not going to say that I am the Indian skin tone, not at all. Like literally Indian women, people come in so many skin tones from the fairest to fairest. And you have kind of like medium, then me like tan. And then you've got the deepest, deepest like South Indian, Sri Lankan kind of skin tone. I've met some Indian girls that are super, super dark. Um... And if they were to watch a video like this, I don't see how they could relate, you know? But anyways, I'm going to do it. We're going to follow it. We're going to see how the end result is going to look on me. And yeah, he does, he does really like different techniques to what I do. So we're going to try and copy that. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to wear earrings because my ears, like... First of all, I don't like the way my ears appear. My, my ears were pierced when I was six months old. I know I'm going off topic right now, but... They are so uneven, like one's like there and the other one's right there, like they're so uneven so that's why I will barely wear any earrings. Um, but also they've been hurting so much when I do put earrings so I just avoid it. So today I'm going to skip it, I mean I could put it, maybe at the end I'll put it, I don't know but right now they're still kind of sore because I wore earrings in my previous video. So yeah, anyways, let's jump straight into it. Before we jump onto the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to... Sia Mion. Mayan. Mion. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm so bad. But anyways, thank you so much for your sweet comment. And yeah, if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you have done so. Okay, I've got the makeup tutorial here on my phone. It's only a five minute video to be honest. Hi, I'm Sonic Servite, global senior artist for MAC Cosmetics and today I'm going to show you a stunning bridal look for your big day. First, I'm using the Natural Radiance Primer and I'm using the Golden in this because this will help to get that really nice, brilliant radiance that we all want. Okay, so I have no idea. I, I had the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm, which is actually very similar in Golden Globe, but I don't know where the hell I put it. So I'm going to be mixing the Revolution Pro Radiant Peach Primer, and I'm going to be mixing this with the Bobbi Brown Glow Stick in Island, um, just like all over the face. So I'm just going to go in with that first. 
Maybe I should have put this headpiece afterwards, but it's okay, it's already done now. So right now I'm just using that Revolution Pro primer and uh, massaging this in to that glow stick that we put. There you go, and you did use his fingers, I think. I'm going to use the Reflex Fluid Foundation, color NC Hati. Always start from the center and then work it towards the outer edges. What I also like about Studio Flex Fluid is that you can really build it up and it just stays on. So I don't have Studio Fix Fluid anymore but I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown, I know I'm using a lot of Bobbi Brown, but I'm going to be using the Nude Finish Tinted Moisturiser by Bobbi Brown in medium dark. And I'm going to do what he did um, and apply it with a foundation flat brush. I really don't like these brushes but let's just do it anyways. From the centre, he obviously did not apply it like that, I don't know what I'm doing but anyways. See, that is too light. I'm just gonna take a bit of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation because none of my foundations are suiting me at the moment because I am um, more my tan side at the moment. I don't know why it's so dark. And that is my real skin tone, but it just looks so dark in my videos. I really don't like using this brush. <laughs> it, it does the job well, like it doesn't not do the job by using this brush, but it's just not for me. Like I would definitely choose a beauty blender any day over this. Cool, so let's just proceed. Add a concealer on top of that. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct palette that I'm using. It has four shades of concealer and two correctors. So I'm gonna be using this cream camouflage palette by Makeup Forever. And there is a concealer shade in here. I'm going to be using this shade right here. Okay, so he's using the same flat brush, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just going to take that light shade from that palette. And I'm just going to blend like he did, I guess. This is so weird. He's just doing a job. I'm not applying too much because he literally looks like he's just brushing that ish on like I normally pack my makeup on and this is a bit weird. He kind of just did mostly under the eyes. I don't... I have tried that MAC palette before and I don't like it. That's why I don't have it anymore. Um, but this is doing okay, I guess. I like the tone of it. Like I like how like yellowy it is. And I like how it's very highlighting underneath my eyes. Mostly just patting just to get a bit more coverage because we need to be realistic here, okay? Because I mean, I do have some dark circles. All those shadows and brighten up the center. The good thing about this palette is you can also use it for contour. There's a little bit of a darker shade, two or three shades darker than your skin tone to contour the face. So, right under the cheekbone here, I'm going to use this. Okay, so I'm going to use the same palette and use. The same brush, I guess, but the other side. I don't know how they do makeup with these brushes, but anyways, is this color right here? I'm just gonna do what he did. He just applied it underneath here. He just did the cheeks, and then so I'm guessing I have to do the same thing on the other side. That's pretty. To set the foundation, I'm going to use Studio Fix powder. Now this will not just set the foundation. Oh wait, I do have that. Let me get, at least I got one thing. I got one thing. Okay, so I have my medium, no, mineralized skin finish in medium tan. Foundation, really long lasting. You want to just make sure that the center of the face is nicely powdered. I'm using mineralized skin finish in medium deep. Okay, so he does that under the eyes. So I guess I'm just gonna set that. I mean, so far it's looking really nice with the products I've used. When you when you do follow a tutorial, don't feel like you need to use exactly the same products. So he said the center of the face. I made sure to really 
kind of set that. To contour her face. Same places where we did the placement earlier. And I'm going to use... They go so, 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 so quick. Like... That is quick, guys. But anyways, I have um, Dark Deep, which I use for my complexion, which is this one right here. I got rid of the dome, so I've been using this a lot. It's definitely a really nice kind of bronzer. There are some things from MAC that I just can't stop using, like um, their powders. I think that's one of my favorite things from them. a little bit here I didn't see him apply it anywhere else to be honest and now he's using a matte blush he said a peachy blush I'm using shade Melba it's a nice peachy color starting right from the apple of the cheek and along the contour to highlight I'm going to okay so I don't feel like Melba would ever show up on me so I'm gonna use this uh, the balm balm springs blush Put it on the cheeks. Did I put too much? I think I did. I think I did. But this base is beautiful. It's very, very natural. Use extra dimension skin finish, and I'm using shade O oh Darling. Start with a little bit less highlighter and build it up. And we have the skin. He just used a flat brush for his highlight. Like, who does that? I mean, I'm not judging him. No shade. No, I'm not being shady here. But that is just. I'm gonna do the same thing. That just looks so awkward. So I'm gonna be using Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals Highlighter, which looks like this. Beautiful. Ugh. He said start with a little bit. I'm gonna use his little flicky motions that he uses. I'm so like tempted to go like that but you just can't do that with this brush did he apply it anywhere else he put a bit on the nose as well like this he did it okay we're done with highlight the skin ready for eye makeup down to the eyes i'm using prolonged wear paint for for base for eyeshadow and i'm using rubenesque it's a beautiful this peachy gold color just take a big brush and lightly use it all over and now I'm going to use eyeshadow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the Cinnamon. It's kind of the same. Not as light, but it suits my skin tone. Okay, that's on. In Amber Light. I'm using it onto the inner corner. Blend it towards the center. I want that really nice gold on the lid i also want the eye to have a nice all right so he's using a goldy eyeshadow and i do have one here actually this is a primark eyeshadow that's super gold and super shimmery it's so beautiful it's called a sun kissed i keep dropping things i broke a palette today <laughs> yeah this i believe i bought this for 70p and it's so beaming and it's just like so pretty It's working guys, it is working. I'm really tempted to wet it, but you didn't do that, so I guess I'm not gonna do that. But when you wet this eyeshadow, it's so stunning. Do some packing. Okay, so I'm using eyeshadow in a bark on the one fourth and the outer edge of the eye you want that little smokiness that can okay embark looks i haven't really seen it in real life before but it looks like a really cool tone eyeshadow i do have a mac eyeshadow here which is called a mystery i don't know if this is discontinued but it's just a brown looks similar to what he's using concentrated it around here He really like kind of winged it out, brushing it, flicking it outwards. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. Move on to putting kajal in the eyes. I'm going to use gold pencil right onto the waterline and just go into smaller strokes and you get that black line from inside and outside. I'm going to... Okay, you really put that all over the waterline, so I'm just going to put that um, on my lower and upper waterline. He even brought it like right in that corner. Right now I'm using the um, Primark PS eyeliner. It's actually very creamy. Sponge the line with the Mbark eyeshadow. That makes it nice and smoky. Use a little tiny brush. And kind of use that shame brown shade so I'm using the same mystery shade and he just blended that into that black to smoke it out I mean I, I'm digging this look you know next bit to do precise eyelining I'm going to use prolonged wear fluid line gel eyeliner and I'm using black track it's a thin line and take it out really make the eyes look intense so i'm going it's really hard to do eyeliner when you've got a lash lift let me just say that please honestly it's so hard we just did i can't see nothing i cannot see he didn't really like do a wing he did like the tiniest of flicks, so I'm just gonna do uh, like a little flick. Apply lash glue and I'm just taking it on. I'm also using a waterproof mascara, hot and naughty waterproof lash, and this gives a lot of volume, so I'm just gonna go and blend the lashes with this. I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna put mascara on for today and I'm gonna be my L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I did have that MAC mascara and I did not like it. I'm just being real here, okay? I'm being real with you guys. This video is not to bash MAC or anything at all. Like, I just don't really use their products and it happens to be a MAC video. And plus, they have such a big influence and to do a video like this, you have to, not have to, but it would have made sense to use someone more in a medium tan or even deeper sh shade range. I mean, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Paradise. I don't see the point of me wearing lashes here. They didn't even put lashes in the mascara on my lower lashes. <laughs> Guys, if there's one thing you know about me, I always put mascara on my lower lashes. It's just like I feel like I look so weird when I don't wear it. Like I feel naked. And then he put some type of cream shadow or pigment, so I'm going to use this Eyeshadow by Colourpop in the shade Sequin. Did he use a brush? Yes, yep, he used a brush. On for just an extra oomph. I don't know why he's doing this after though. I wouldn't do that myself. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, this video is not to like bash Mac or the artist or the model at all. It's just a quick conversation because obviously there was a lot of controversy in the comments saying that they should have at least used someone of a darker complexion so let let me know what you guys think in the comments to fill in the brows i'm going to use spiked brow pencil and start filling in the gaps and i'll brush it again so that the lines are blended again and now i'm so he did a very natural fluffy kind of brow so i'm going to use my benefits precisely my brow pencil just brush the brows out. To use my highlighter with rice paper eyeshadow, just take it a little bit on a brush and use it right below the arch here, just very little. Same thing on the other side. 
just a little bit right under the brow here. And there we have beautiful eye makeup. So I'm using this eyeshadow called Myla. It's like a bright, it's by MAC actually, and it's just a okay, pale eyeshadow. Just gonna apply that where he said. long-lasting lip color and I'm using cherry lip liner just go right over to the edges and perfect the shape of the lipstick and that's the lip and she's that gorgeous. lip that lip is so beautiful but I don't know I don't have anything that's similar so what I'm going to be using is um, Huda Beauty liquid matte in heartbreaker but then I'm also going to, I'm also going to mix in Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in Batrolet just to give that kind of because I feel like there's a pinky tone to it Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you are to if you were to ask for my opinion, I would probably say that yes, they should have oh look, mind my hand. Yes, they should have used someone of a darker complexion because I feel like uh, she doesn't really represent an Indian bride. Like it when I when I think of an Indian bride, I just don't yes, she is absolutely gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Um but it's just most people in India are at least a few shades darker than her, so I just feel like it doesn't represent the Asian Indian community, and and I get where the controversy came from. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. Be nice to each other. Don't forget that. And yeah, this video was just to raise conversation. The base is definitely not what I would do on a daily. Like it's different to how I apply makeup, especially the brushes. But I had fun and I think the look itself is absolutely gorgeous and I really, really like it, especially the eyes um, and the skin. I really like the skin as well. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my loves and I will see you in my next one.